Okay, here's another quick one. So, this is MPEG Stream Clip, which is free. You can just do a search for MPEG, M-P-E-G space Stream Clip, S-T-R-E-A-M-C-L-I-P, and download the software. I originally bought it for ripping DVDs. Occasionally, we would record our services at my church directly to DVD, and then we'd need to get them off. So we did the copyright thing. It was ours. Everybody was happy. No big deal there. But we needed a way to get that off so that we could um, play with the video later. Well, we've since changed doing that, but I still had this software. Well, you'll notice over here I have a, a movie file. This is actually recorded with my Canon T3i. It's an H.264 file. And... While I do have Final Cut 10, I actually prefer to edit in Final Cut Studio, which doesn't like H.264 files. In fact, I created an entire video with H.264 files, and it just was slow and had all kinds of problems. So I had to change those after I've edited them, which took some time, but I'll, I'll show you how to do that at a later date. So if you know this and haven't made this mistake like I did, then you can do, uh, transcode them beforehand. An MPEG stream clip is a free and uh, fairly easy way to do this. So I'm just going to drag this over here, and you'll see this is actually footage of a wedding that I shot recently. Now I can go to File, Export as QuickTime, and then I have all these codecs to choose from. Now, since I'm going to edit this in Final Cut Studio, what I'm going to do is I'm going to transcode to, let's see here, where is Apple ProRes 422? Um, Apple, Capone Film, XD Cam, Uncompressed. Um, Ah, ProRes 422LT. Let's do that. Now, I don't want the quality to be 50% if I was transcoding for the web. Maybe I would, but I want it to be all the way up. Let me go into options, frame rate. Okay, I know that I recorded this at 1080p, so I'm going to transcode it at 1080p. And I think the rest of that's pretty good. Well, I wanted to deselect this because this is in fact progressive and uh, that's good enough for right now maybe I tweak some of the settings later I click make movie it asks me where I want to save it um, this time I'm going to do to the desktop I'm going to call this just add PR422 on the end and then click save now it's going to do it and uh, this wasn't particularly long footage, so it's uh, going to do this fairly quickly. And once this stops, I have my new footage that I can use in uh, Final Cut Studio. So that's just a quick tip right there. Until next time, uh, check out my blog, trinitydigitalmedia.com.